Council, thanks for visiting. Uh, this is your reading for July the 22nd to whenever you get this because there's something wrong with technology and the internet and absolutely everything in my whole life. I'm not going to go on about that. Uh, it, it's very stressful. That's it. I'm not saying any more. I'm just going to start you reading right now. So the first card you have for your past is the Page of Pentacles. Okay, so I'm seeing a few things here. I'm seeing a beautiful, positive feeling. Springtime um, and then a big change. So what I'm seeing is I'm seeing and I'm feeling this, you know, warmth, beautiful warmth, love, admiration, and then something something made this come to a stop suddenly i think it stopped it froze like the snowy mountain in the background there's a snowy mountain in the background maybe you're frozen out of someone's life and uh, this is a spring scene so there are tiny flowers in the grass and you know when spring comes you know the snow melts turns into water and that's when the new growth comes so there's new growth here so i think someone was thinking about starting something new with you again maybe uh this was this person who froze you out or you might have frozen each other out even um i think they might be a little bit naive about this actually because pages are teenagers they're students and uh they're just learning so this person might have some idea in their head they'll be able to come back and talk to you again without any problems at all that you can just walk in and everything will be fine um, I keep on looking at this mountain seeing frozen, you know, frozen and, and snow. So I think they might have been imagining you as sort of frozen in time, if that makes sense. You know, it's as if they can just come in and pick up where they left off. That's what I'm seeing. So, you know, you have your own life. You've moved on. And also, you know, it wasn't easy for you to be able to move on from all of this in the beginning. But you did that. And here you are. So, um, yeah, I think they truly did miss you. I think I think they did. Um, they missed what they had with you. Um, I don't think they told many people about this. I don't think they told you. Um, this is how they were feeling. Uh, I think they're probably going to come to con into contact with you very soon if they haven't already, because this is in the past. Uh, they're a little bit nervous. Look at the way the page is holding this coin. Uh, they do have passion for you. Um, that that's the main thing that's on their mind, actually, passion, because this this page is wearing a great big red hat it's right near his head so what's on their mind is passion so just be a little bit careful because this person might be uh thinking passion passion over everything else uh so and when i see uh, you know when you have naivety and you have passion together that doesn't say stability to me of course so but you might be happy you might be happy to get into some passion with this person I don't know but you might not but this is what I'm seeing this is what they were thinking so the next card you have for your past is judgment okay so there might be more than passion here because the judgment card can be about self-realization it can be about apologies as well so I think they might come forward with some kind of an apology to you um, you know, if you look at the Page of Pentacles again, um, there's a lot of tenderness there with the way the page is holding this coin. So I think their initial motivation to connect again was probably passion. That was on what was on their mind. And I think they've also, but you know, after that, I think they started to look at themselves and they were thinking about their behavior, which is what about this, what this card's about sometimes. But the thing is, you're in a completely different place now. And, and you have a lot of things you're working on as well. You're working inside yourself spiritually. Uh, you're working on things internally and externally. And um, there's a lot of, not isolation, but just needing time to yourself to be yourself and grow and, and work on these things. And I think you're also growing and you're nurturing a project as well. Uh, I think I saw that in your last reading and that's probably something spiritual or you've got a spiritual... Um, idea behind that or a spiritual kind of motivation to do that something like that so there's a sense of wanting to be by yourself not wanting any interference coming in spoiling what you're doing and um, you know this project almost like a child to you as well I keep on going back to the page of pentacles so you want to protect it you want to nurture it and you want it to grow until it's up to the stage where it's ready to launch and take off like a child so I think if this person wanted to come and talk to you now, 
uh, you know, it just wouldn't be good timing because you're preoccupied with this. You're also in protective mode. You're kind of protective of yourself. You're protective of your own feelings. And you're also protective of this thing you're working on, which is a very, very important thing to you. That's what I'm seeing. So I don't think this is very good at all. But that's not the idea they have. They just thought, oh, I'll come back and I'll talk and I'll say sorry and everything will be fine. That's the thing they have on their mind or they did at this time. So the last card you have your past is the Four of Wands. Fantastic, fantastic card. I love seeing this card, especially here. And it's really good that I've got this here because I'm looking at this right after I finish talking about this project that you're working on. So here we are. Uh, I think this card's showing you that you're absolutely on the right track. It's telling you to keep going, follow your instincts. Um, if you feel that you need to keep this to yourself for a while and work on this privately, definitely do that. Uh, there might be, okay, this is interesting. There might be someone who wants to step in and help you with this. Uh, I'm seeing a woman who's a little bit quiet. She's a bit of a quiet person. Yeah, they have a little bit of a subdued personality. That's what I'm seeing. Um, this is important to remember that they have this personality. I'll tell you why that is. Um, I'm actually seeing two different people who might offer you help. Uh, one of them's going to be really fantastic, a great help to you. Uh, and this is the person who's going to help to pull you through the middle of these wands, through these 1111s and out the other side where the success is. There's also someone else uh, who might offer you help as well. And I think, I think they're pretty much the opposite of this other person, actually. Uh, they're a little bit loud. Uh, they seem to have all the right knowledge, all the right language. They know what to say. And that's probably quite impressive or it's going to be quite impressive to you. But this is the person you want to avoid. So if someone offers you help and they're a little bit bold, loud, if they brag a bit, I knew this, I knew that, all of that, they're the wrong person. You want the person who's a little bit quieter. I know that's really specific, but that's what I have to tell you because I think you'll probably instinctively, you know, you'll probably instinctively go toward the quieter person anyway because I think they're your kind of person. But I really just wanted to tell you that. I wanted to give you that warning. But yeah, this is 1111, so keep on going down this path. Um, that's what this card's telling you. That's the message there. That's what I'm seeing. So the first card you have your present is the King of Pentacles. So yeah, this is going to be... Um, this, this project, this thing, this is definitely going to be financially successful. Now, again, I was seeing spirituality around this project or some kind of spiritual motivation behind it or something like that. And uh, that's beautiful, of course, that's fantastic. But uh, don't shy away from the money aspect of this. Um, a lot of spiritually minded people shy away from money because they think it's bad or corrupt. Um, it isn't at all, um, to my mind, it isn't anyway. It's uh, it's the intention toward the money that can be corrupt um, or not, depending on the situation. Uh, you know, I can have a pile of money in my hand. I can use it to show off. I can use it to get revenge on someone um, or I can give it to charity or I can help people with it or whatever. So it's not the money that's the problem. It's the intention toward that. So, you know, when this abundance comes into you, and it will, accept this accept this abundance because this is yours this belongs to you if you've earned this if it comes in if you have a business a project whatever it is um, if you've worked for this it is yours um, I don't mean to put a lecture in the middle of this reading but um, I am seeing abundance it is coming to you it's coming out of something that you're doing right now and I don't want to see you miss out on this you deserve this abundance you deserve it it's yours that's the message there so the next card you have here present is the star. Yeah, so there are a few things here. Um, I think this person in the Page of Pentacles, I think they have changed a lot. I think they are a lot more self-aware. I think they're probably still a little bit idealistic, probably a little bit unrealistic about what could happen if and when, um, if or when or whatever, uh, if they connect with you again. Uh, they definitely have hope uh, that you will, but... Uh, the person they have hope for, um, the person they used to know, which is the old you, that's not the person that's there now. You're completely different now. Um, I think it will happen. I think they will definitely connect with you again, or they'll try to. But at the moment, I think it's probably something they're still thinking about. Because um, if you look at this card um, and you look at the star, 
that's in the background, you know, the hope's in the background. It's far away from this woman, but it's still there. She knows it's there. So I think when they feel ready, um, that's when they're going to uh, try again. It's just a matter of when they feel ready. Um, my feeling is that just looking at this is that you might not be ready because of everything I'm seeing here. Uh, you're very different now. You have this other project going on and you're in this sort of I need to be on my own space or in my own space or on my own uh, mode. Um, you know, this woman's alone. She wants to be on her own. She's She needs to be alone. She's washing herself and, you know, she's having a private moment. So uh, it would be really bad timing for anyone to come over and talk to her at this time. She'd be very unhappy with that. And so that's what this is telling you, that... Um, if they came over right now and spoke to you while you're in this kind of I want to be by myself and concentrate on this mode, it would be absolutely bad and wrong timing for them. So if they come now or if they come soon, it's going to be wrong timing. Um, so that's what I'm seeing and you know that. So the last card you have for your present is the Eight of Swords, yes. Okay, so this is a very heavy card. Um, I'm seeing some distance here, and this is distance between you and your childhood home, I think, or your family. Because if you look at this, she's kind of moved forward. She's away from her original home. It's it's behind her. So you've moved, you've done that, I think. I think you've moved on from a lot of people who used to be around you who when you were growing up, I think. Um, yeah, this is physical distance that I'm seeing, but there's also a big emotional distance between you and some of these people. Um, I think you'd still talk to some of them, but it's limited. The conversations are limited. And I think that's down to you because I'm seeing a lot, of, um, a lot of negativity, negative words coming from some of these people towards you. And you've made an effort to distance yourself from all of that. Um, but I think... I think in the past you used to feel as if you had to maybe keep quiet or even censor yourself. This card can be about censorship sometimes. Um, you had to be quiet around these people. That's how you felt, I think, because um, you're very different from them. Um, I think you've escaped the worst of this. Yeah, there were some pretty bad things that were said to you, actually. So um, you have escaped this whole scene. But uh, I think you still have some of these words going around in your head sometimes and, and that can affect you emotionally sometimes. But you are, you are making an effort to move forward from that. Um, I'm seeing a little bit of caution in this as well. Nothing bad. It's just um, I think some of these words were intended to put you down or hurt you. But they weren't all intended to do that. Um, I'm seeing one specific person here who you might have kind of grouped in with these others, if that makes sense, and kind of seen them in a bad light. Um, I don't think their intentions for you were um, bad. Um, I think uh, you're probably hurt, and I think when you're hurt, it can be hard to see what people's intentions are sometimes. So there was someone who um, didn't mean to make you upset, but they did. That's what I'm seeing in that card. Um, yeah. So try and discern, if you can, try and discern between the intentions of these different people and these different individuals. But I think at this time, um, whether that's now or in the past, uh, it's been very, very hard for you to do that because um, you've been very emotional over what a lot of these people have said to you. I can see that. So anyway, that's just what I'm seeing in that card. But you are working your way through that. I'm seeing that. Um, so the first card you have your future is the Knight of Swords. Yes. Okay, so um, okay, so this is what I'm seeing. This is kind of following on from what I'm seeing in the Eight of Swords. Someone in your life, I think this is a family member, so I think this is who this person is. Um, I think they might have tried to talk to you. I think they might have tried to maybe talk to you at the wrong time, maybe when you were still feeling a lot of this hurt from these other words or whatever. And I think they're probably a little bit clumsy in the way they spoke to you. And... You know, again, if you had all these other people saying these horrible things to you, you would have had your guard up. Um, but again, I don't think that they had bad intentions towards you. I think they actually have lo had loving intentions towards you. Because if you look at this horse, there's a small red heart just behind its eye. It's a bit hard to see, but it's very, very tiny. Um, so this horse and this man's rushing ahead, going toward, and, and it looks quite scary. So anyone that is in its way would be like, oh, this great big 
horse is coming toward me with this sword and I'm really scared, I'm going to get out of the way. But actually the intentions are loving, even though they're kind of a little bit clumsy. So I think that's what happened with this person. So um, I know this is in the future, so I think this is telling you to, you know, when things have died down, when you're feeling a bit better, if you know who this is, if this is all resonating with you, um, maybe contact this person when you're ready, because I think they're a little bit worried that they've offended you, they didn't mean to do that, and they know that you're kind of um, distanced yourself from some other people in the family, so uh, they'd really hate to be lumped in with all of those people. I'm seeing an older man here, so it might be an older man, so just that might give you an idea to who this is, so just have a think about that um, if this is resonating with you. So the next card you have for your future is the Ace of Cups, beautiful card. Okay, so this is, sometimes this is about healing, so that's what I'm seeing here. So you're still going to be healing from all of this. It's just going to take time, I think. And I know I keep on saying that, well, not keep on, but I have said about this kind of older man, this relative, and I know I'm advising you to reach out to them. But of course, don't do that until you're ready. Make sure you're feeling steadier inside yourself first before you do that. Uh, because again, even though they mean well, if you start contacting them and calling them or whatever, they might start bringing up all these things again. Not not with the intention to hurt you, they might just want to talk about it and... Uh, it, it might not be the best thing for you while you're healing. So take your time, let yourself heal. Um, you know, it might be easy to, um, and, a, and a little bit less confronting for you if you text them maybe or email them. Um, you know, that might be a good way to reach out without having a conversation with them. You can always tell them, uh, oh, you know, I, I want to talk to you and I will do that later. But at this time, I'm just not quite ready to talk to anyone. So just know I'm thinking about you. I'm not angry with you. Just wanted to message you and just to let you know I am going to talk to you later on. So because I think a little message like that is going to make all the difference to them because I am seeing someone who feels like, oh, what have I done? I've said the wrong thing. They're really mad at me. I, I really didn't mean to do that. That's the kind of thing I'm getting in this. So, um, you know, I think you should try and reach out to them, but do it in a way that's kind of self-preserving, that kind of helps you to heal as well. That's what I'm seeing. So the last card you have your future is the Eight of Pentacles. Okay, so again, this is Pentacles. So this is telling me that working on this project or the spiritual thing or this thing, this is going to bring in an abundance to you. Um, and I think your healing is probably going to, or part of your healing, I think is probably going to come through this project as well. Um, as you work through this, I think your confidence is going to grow. I think you're going to forget a lot more, not completely, but you know, you're going to kind of think less and less about these horrible words that were said to you in the Eight of Swords. That's going to be um, at more of a distance to you, I think. Um, it's going to take it's you know it's going to take time to heal properly. It's not going to happen quickly. I'd love to tell you that you know you're going to feel amazing tomorrow, but um, you know I can't say that. So it's just going to take time, and I think you know that. But you know as you work, you'll keep on going through that. Uh, you'll have a lot of other things to do as well. You'll be very busy at this time um, in your future. But again, this is everywhere. This project uh, is the right path for you. I'm seeing that all over the place keep on doing that, keep on this path. I'm definitely seeing money, abundance, all of that. Whatever you do, don't shy away from that abundance that comes to you. It is yours. It belongs to you. That's what I'm seeing. So Cancer, I hope this resonated. As you know, general readings can't always resonate with everyone. But if you like this reading, please like, subscribe, leave a comment if you would like to. And uh, thank you so much for watching.